Right now, we're, we're, we're reading The Great Gatsby. We began the unit by um, some, some fairly general readings of the 1920s to kind of get the gestalt of what was going on, the social, the political, the economic um, challenges that America was facing, how that's affecting the American dream. in Chapter 8 that reflects some of these 1920s themes that we've uncovered. Materialism, disillusionment, moral corruption, and classism. While they're examining the decade in terms of the material gain that the country was experiencing, there's also some questions that are coming up about that material gain. And the Gatsby helps, I think, if, if, if examined the way I hope kids are examining it, it lends them a, a critical filter to, to view the 1920s. Gatsby was poor at that time, now he's rich, and she still doesn't want him. She wants to be with Tom still, so he gives up his dream. So what does that tell you about Daisy's character? Because now that she knows that, she is, yeah. Every student in the group has a particular role every evening, and that role changes and shifts. Um, so one night, a person who's the discussion leader will come up with some provocative questions and statements and to, to get kids to talk. Another person's the character analyst. There's a historian, um, and there's a language specialist, and a summarizer. And so each of those individuals has an opportunity to say something. When they go to New York and Myrtle sees the yellow car, 